1929, the fairly new nation of Australia was hit with the devastation of the Great Depression. The Depression hit Australian families hard. Many were evicted from their homes, people were undernourished and children quit school early to help support their family. The people of Australia needed something, or rather someone, to help them through this time of great hardship. That person was Harry von der Schloss, better known as Roy René, Boy Roy, Mo or Mo McCacky. Harry von der Schloss was a famous Australian vaudevillian born in Adelaide on the 15th of February 1892 to a Jewish Dutch family. He was known as a quiet man off stage, however his stage character Mo was controversial, risque and full of innuendo. His signature look consisted of a painted on black and white beard. He moved to Melbourne as a teenager and landed himself a job at the Gaty Theatre. This would be his first of many vaudeville jobs. In 1910 he moved to Sydney and worked at Brennan's National Amphitheatre. It was here he changed his name from Harry von der Schloss to Roy René. In 1916, Roy joined with another comedian named Nat Phillips. Together they formed Stiffy and Mo. Stiffy being Phillips' stage name and Mo being Roy's. They fast became a very popular comedy act within Australia due to their bawdy sense of humour and large use of innuendo. Stiffy and Mo were unfortunately to break up in 1925, and in 1929, Roy returned to his theatre company in Sydney and was given his own company, Mo and his Merrymakers. In 1934, Mo produced his first and only movie, Strike Me Lucky. Roy then returned to live shows and started getting involved in radio. Roy René spent his entire acting life in Australia and New Zealand, despite many offers by other countries, specifically America. However, Roy insisted his work was culture-specific and other countries wouldn't understand his sense of humour. As a result, René was never really famous anywhere but Australia. Roy was famous for his unique and controversial style of humour. It was described by people of the time as rude, indecent, arrogant and immodest, particularly towards women. His humour was specific to Australians and New Zealanders. He took the act of Aussie Battler, so people living in the Depression felt they could relate to him. He brought great joy to the people who were constantly worried, stressed and undernourished. He made a serious impact on the culture, humour and language of Australia in the early 1900s and even today. He invented many well-known Australian phrases, many of which are still used today. You beaut, strike me lucky and struth are all examples of the language he called Moisms. He had a large impact on Australian humour and our national sense of humour, which in turn shaped our national identity.